Hey guys, welcome to the replay. Remember, you can give hearts even on the replay. So definitely give hearts if you like what you see. Hi guys, thanks for joining. I am Carrie from Gluten Free Jersey Girl. Hi, let let um, get fit with she. <laughs> Some of the names are hard to read. Um, give me your name and your post so I can know what your name is. This is Carrie from Gluten Free Jersey Girl. I have a super easy recipe today. A couple of people were asking me how to make it, so I thought I'd do a quick scope just to show you guys how easy it is. They are apple nachos. Thanks for the hearts, guys. Hi, Sheila from Chicago. Thanks for joining. Hi, Katrina. Thanks for joining me today. I'm just making a really easy recipe. They're apple nachos. There's not a whole lot of ingredients. You can actually make them whatever you want. It's, it's a great recipe, it's great for kids, and you can make it as healthy or as decadent as you want. So, yeah, it is, it's really, really yummy. So let me um, get this started, I'm gonna double tap this. Let's see if I can put it so you guys can see what I'm doing, sorry. There we go. So the first thing you're gonna need is just an apple. And I cut it, I take the insides out, and I cut it in little slices like this and you can cut it however you like I just find this is the easiest way Hopefully you can see what I'm doing and I made these on Instagram and a couple people were asking me how to make them so I thought I would do a quick video just to show you guys how easy it is so how's everybody doing today um, I am from the Jersey Shore and it is a beautiful day here which is nice because it was raining the other day so it's nice to have a couple really beautiful days and it was really hot and now it's really really beautiful it's not hot it's perfect temperature and you just arrange them on your plate any any way that you like if you're doing a couple apples of course you're going to want to use a big plate but usually this would just be for myself or for two people so i just arrange it on a small plate just like that and then all you're going to do is just put your toppings on so what I like to put on is coconut butter, and this is fresh coconut butter that I just made. I just made a YouTube video, and look how creamy that is. And if you want to check it out, it's on the Gluten Free Jersey Girl channel on YouTube. It's really easy to make. And I just drizzle a little bit on, not too much, usually about a teaspoon. And I just drizzle it all over. And then I'll put a little bit of almond butter. And this I didn't make, but almond butter is another easy thing to make. And again, about a teaspoon. And usually I'll have this, sometimes I'll even have this for lunch, or I'll have it for an afternoon snack. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll see pictures when I, when I make them. I usually post pictures. Then I'm going to put in some nuts. I'm going to put in some walnuts. Usually just one walnut, and then I just crumble it up. Again, because it's just for me. If I were doing this for company or for more people. Oh, you just made it? Great, it's a fun thing to make. It's great for kids. And you can also, um, you can drizzle on some chocolate. I'm not doing that today, but then I'm gonna sprinkle on a couple of pumpkin seeds. Now what I also do is I'll take them and I'll just put them in a bag and I'll take one of these and I'll punch it down and crumble it up so that I don't have to use as much of it, but I get a little bit of the taste. So I'll sprinkle a little bit of that on, and that was just my nut mixture. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of sunflower seeds, and a couple blueberries, just for a little extra taste. Oops, didn't mean to put that many. And sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon. And the last thing I usually like to put on is date syrup. And if you've ever had this, date syrup it is phenomenal. It is just dates and caramel extract. And I'll just sprinkle a little bit of that on. And there you go, that's it. And you can top it, like I said, with whatever you want. Um, it's one of my favorite things to make. It's not tapping. I'm trying to show it to you, but it's not tapping. Hmm. There you go. So there you go. Oh, you're welcome. Sorry, I was a little bit off today with my camera here, but 
Oh, good. I'm glad you're hungry. It's definitely, it's a great recipe to try, especially like I said for kids, and you can put anything you want on them. One of my favorite is to take raw cacao, a little bit of coconut oil, and the date syrup, mix that together, and then sprinkle that on. And that gives it a really nice chocolate taste. Or peanut butter. Peanut butter is another really good one. Just sprinkle that on. And that's it. It's that simple. Thanks for the hearts, guys. How's everybody doing today? Like I said, it's a beautiful day here in New Jersey, and I just felt like making a snack and thought I would share it with you guys. You're hungry? <laughs> yep, it makes you hungry. I know it's really good. You definitely try it. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for joining me today. What's everybody having for snacks today? Oh, thank you. It tastes really good. Oh, watermelon. I love watermelon. That's one of my favorite snacks, too. Any type of fruit. Grapes, um, bananas. Oh, thank you, Lynn. Thanks for popping in. I got your message about breakfast, so I'll try to come up with something for breakfast. Pecans and figs, that sounds good, too. I love kind bars. That's a good snack. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, something bad. Well, you know what? Once in a while, it's okay to have something bad. You know, you're not... Perfect. You don't have to be perfect all the time. I mean, I have my moments. For the most part, I try to be healthy. Some other things that are good to put on here too, um, I forgot to mention, are hemp seeds and chia seeds. Sometimes I'll sprinkle those on there too. It gives you a little bit of extra um, protein and fats from the chia seeds. So well, That's it, guys. I just wanted to share that with you, and I hope everybody's having a wonderful day, and thanks for joining me, and have a great day. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks, guys.